All right, so here's our next uh, little thing we're going to learn in 3.5, uh, rational functions. This time we're going to use the function f of x, 1 over x squared, to graph g of x, 1 over x minus 2 squared plus 1. So right now I've graphed uh, what 1 over x squared would look like. Look like We would uh, uh, already know that from a couple uh, slides ago where we were graphing just primary uh, rational functions. And then what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this. Well, we've actually looked at a couple of these. So down here I'm going to write what the uh, general form would look like if we had A, B, C, and D. So with A, B, and C, and D, that's where the letters would uh, basically fall into place. And this could be just to the first degree and be similar to 1 over x, or it could be to uh, squared and be very similar to the example that we have here, 1 over x squared. So looking at this problem right here, what we should see is that we have a value that represents c. So we have x minus 2 in parentheses squared, so that's going to be our c. So what that's going to do is going to shift us right to. So normally our vertical asymptote is going to be the y-axis, but now our vertical asymptote will be right here at this value when we shift it uh, left or right to. So our graph now will look a little something like this. And then we have one more shift. Uh, this right here would be our D value. And anytime you have a D value, you're going to move your graph up one. So not only is our vertical asymptote going to be located in the exact same place, now our horizontal asymptote is going to be located here. So when we graph this, our graph will look a little something like this. after you make the appropriate shifts. Okay, and uh, still, we could still use arrow notation. This time, as x, we'll do a couple examples of arrow notation here. Uh, this time, as x approaches positive infinity, okay, your function value is going to approach, this time, it's going to approach the value of 1 from the top side. And then very similar using error notation. As x gets larger and larger and larger, your function is going to approach 1 from the positive side. So as x gets more and more negative, we get closer and closer to a value of 1. Uh, the vertical asymptotes, uh, we'll look at our, our answer here and see if we can't figure that out. Your vertical asymptote, so as x, whoops, right of x, as x approaches 2, from the positive side and as x approaches 2 from the negative side. So again, uh, the positive sign kind of means that we're coming from x's that are larger than that, so we'd be coming this way. And as you can see, our function is going to go to positive infinity. And then as we approach x from numbers that are smaller than that, would be from this way, then we're still going to go to positive infinity. So that's transformations of rational functions and also some arrow notation.